Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays, The Binding of Isaac. After birth, you've heard of it, you wanted to see it, here we are. Mega Satan is Judas. I don't know why I'm like gravitating towards Judas, like we've gotta do Judas, gotta do Judas. No, we don't have to. Um, we can do Darkroom Eden, but I'd really like to do, um, I'd like to do a hard mode Hush, if we could. So who has not beaten Hush yet? Lilith has not beaten Hush. Let's try it, okay? Lilith, Hush, we'll give it a shot. I think we got a chance at it. Um, Came be in Conception, Curse of the Lost. Here's our seed for today, before I forget. YD6YS3TL. It was supposed to be St. Louis, but instead it ended up looking like Seattle. Happens all the time. Supposed to be St. Louis, but then it ended up looking like Seattle's. I don't know why I put on my bear taffy voice for that one, but I, I like it. Um, I'm still reeling a little bit over that greed mode performance that was very embarrassing, but I've been doing all right on the dailies. Couple of top 1,000 finishes in a row. Again, I don't know when these uh, go up necessarily. Sometimes they go up a little uh, behind the daily challenges, which is sensible considering that those are a little bit more time sensitive. But uh, uh, and don't take that as bragging. It's just it's more of a me trying to lampshade my performance lately. We've had that terrible greed mode Maggie run that was only like 19 minutes long and very embarrassing in the in the manner in which we died. Um, but we've also had some pretty good runs mixed in there as well and. I've had some fun Lilith ones as well. Like, with Lilith was the daily challenge today. Maybe that's why I'm feeling Lilith, because it's, uh... It was particularly fun. Boss Rush is Lilith, like, single-handedly has actually improved my perception of this character. Like, previously I was like, Lilith, she's good in greed mode, but she's not that good. She's pretty weak, actually, in normal mode. And then you do Boss Rush a couple of times, and you're like, wait a minute. She's like an automatic Boss Rush victory. Especially with KMB and Conception actually working for you. You know, giving you a little Brimstone or something like that that can then be, uh, you know... Five little brimstones uh, by the by the end of boss rush. It's really really good. That being said, I do think she is one of the weaker characters in the first few stages of the game. It is a little annoying. Uh, ranges from little annoying to downright you know heinously uh, tedious to try to line up your incubus familiars. But uh, I will admit, when you got two of them going at the same time, and they're actually both firing the way that you want them to fire, it's it's kind of like having uh, double damage for a room. Which is extremely nice. It's like a newfound Book of Belial. I think I'm starting to come around on Lilith. My initial um, hesitation towards her is wearing off. And, and I think this is a good thing. Because there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this character. I'm um, disappointed we didn't get any bombs on that floor. Because we had so many tinted rocks. But as Lilith, we are starting with a, a nice little cushion. With these two black hearts here. Which I think is smart. Because some of those early rooms are so hard to, to take out with an... An, or not an enemy, but a familiar that's following you around like a second behind you. Little Steven, look, let's be real guys. Little Steven, cover your ears. He's one of the worst familiars. And I think that as much as I do like Lilith, and I do, one of the things that people have really overrated, in my opinion, is uh, the effect of more familiars or each new familiar on Box of Friends. Having a second Little Steven uh, is not as meaningful as having a second Incubus. I mean, that's obvious. I, but, you know, having a second little Steven, having a second brother Bobby or something like that is really not that much of, like, a defining factor in whether or not I'm having a good run, I think. So, I would rather have a, just a straight damage up, a straight tears up, even a straight HP up than little Steven. But I will admit, I'm, ha I'm not happy to be picking up little Steven, but I'm happier to be picking up little Steven on a Lilith run than I am as any other character. That's for darn sure. So, I am uh, relatively pleased. Relative to what we could be, I guess. You know what? We have to take this. I don't really want to take Guppy's Paw because we already took another item. But uh, I kind of feel like my hand is forced a little bit here. We have to take Guppy's Paw to try to become Guppy. That'd be really nice. And we got HP, so it's not like we ate, you know, too much of the penalty there. Um, and we had to take Headless Baby to get a second Headless Baby. Because any familiar, again, is going to be pretty incentivized, I think, as, as Lilith. Um, maybe we could have gone without taking Headless Baby there. One thing you cannot do, and in a way I kind of like dislike this about Lilith, but uh, you really can't get rid of Box of Friends. Like, once you get rid of Box of Friends, the character becomes so much worse. Maybe if you had like an insanely high damage run, you could justify it, but I don't know. I kind of feel like you, you just stick with Box of Friends and try to make that work as best as you can. And usually the answer is that it works quite well. Hopefully uh, this second... Headless Baby actually puts down like creep that does extra damage because if you don't get double damage from the creep It's pretty much covering the same uh, Amount of surface area although admit I although I will admit I should say they kind of follow behind one another So 
I guess you get a little bit of like a wider paintbrush, if nothing else. That, that gets you more coverage. That's actually the first hit we've taken this entire run, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. I can live with this. Definitely way ahead of schedule. Boss Rush is one of those things that I would really like to do as Lilith. Uh, of course, if we could just get in there and then walk away or teleport away, that's better. But if we have to do it, Lilith, I think, has the least penalty to doing it. Um, which didn't, again, phrasing didn't quite come out the way I intended. But uh, the, uh, the hesitancy, which might not even be a word, but the hesitance to uh, do boss rush doesn't exist as much on Eden as it does on every other character, which is awesome. I like having a character that can be like, ah, if we don't get a teleport card, whatever. As long as we get through the first few waves, our, our life is going to be a lot easier. So, anyway, uh, long story short, uh, Lilith... Some good, some bad. You get the idea. It's like anything else in life. Uh, let's go into our shop. I was hoping to purchase a bomb. I cannot purchase a bomb. This is clear. So I will purchase a three cent spirit heart instead, which is basically what I was hoping to get from the bomb, so I'm not too mad. And we'll, uh, we'll head down to the next floor, I suppose. Nothing really keeping us here. A Little bit ahead of schedule for boss rush still. Score irrelevant on this run. Survival is the most important thing. Uh, should we do the dark room? Like, we could still do dark room and hush. Why not try to knock out two birds with one stone? I'm assuming we haven't done dark room as Lilith. And if we have, whatever, you know, at least it's extra variety. If we're looking long term, we're probably going to do, you know, dozens, maybe even hundreds of. Uh, of uh, chest runs with Lilith. What's, uh, you know, one extra dark room run? If we have the power, which admittedly we we may or may not. Gotta kill you fast, thank you. See now the creep is like a little bit more transparent in the translucent, I guess, in the uh, flooded caves. Makes me think it's worse, which I really hope is not the case. Hematemesis. We only had one HP anyway, so that doesn't mean too much for us here. I hate this room enough to do this. Unfortunately, Headless Baby doesn't really get much of a bonus. You know what? Little Steven is proving me wrong, by the way. These little Steven shots are homing in from, like, across the map. I regret insulting Little Steven. And you know what? I'm glad that I figured it out before it was too late. Now we can start rebuilding our relationship here on the fly. And you know what, Little Steven? I know deep in your heart... I still love you! I mean, I know it's from the television show Intervention. It features people at their darkest, most low moments, and I shouldn't be making fun of it, but the auto-tune version of that is still pretty good. And it's the one impression I can actually reliably do. So I apologize, but uh... Stop spawning these freaking flies! I need to hit the babysitter here! How many of you are there occupying the same space? Good lord. Tears down. That is, like, really terrible. Alrighty. Well, uh, we have had a tears up in the form of blue cap, so it's not like the end of the world, necessarily. It's not like we're lower on damage than we were when we started, but it still sucks pretty terribly. We're, you know, we're trying to get better as the game goes on, not stay in the same place. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil on this floor. It is conceivable. Not a second guppy item, unfortunately. Spend a key to get a key, and a bomb and a few cents. Eh, you know, this early in the game, I'm not gonna nitpick shit like this too much. The extra bomb and the extra money might be able to cooperate and actually allow us to pick up a worthwhile shop item, so life goes on. Hematomesis, if we find the second secret room, is also really useful. Don't know why I was trying to go over there. And I gotta say, I don't want to, you know, toot my own horn here, but we've been playing pretty well on this run as well. Like, we've only taken one hit, I think, which is very, very surprising. Really like to uh, kill these guys a little closer to what is pr almost on, without a doubt, the secret room down here. But they keep ricocheting, like, in exactly the wrong position to make it happen. What about this guy? He's gonna come down, like, right on the middle of the top. So, you know what? I'll use my own bomb. Life goes on there. We probably missed our chance. And for one extra bomb, we get Mystery Sack. I don't know if our Mystery Sack gets doubled when we use Box of Friends, but if it does, and then we do Boss Rush, we could stand to gain a ton of consumables. You know, once every four rooms get a random, uh, potentially great consumable. 
Oh my god, I can't seem to finish any of these. Uh, I'm conscious of the fact that if I finish that sentence the way I plan to, phrasing would be a little bit of an issue. But, um... Oh, Ludo. I like it. Doesn't even work. Yes. Now it has completely nullified the fact that we have, uh... That we have, uh, these inceptions here. Oh, no, it hasn't! Oh my god! Ludo has actually given us the ability to shoot while also having our Incubus shoot as well. Incub... Incubodes. Um, Incubuddies. That's what I was going for. Uh, that's incredible! That's so good! Basically, it takes the penalty away from being Lilith and still leaves you with all the cool shit you can do. We'll buy another Spirit Heart here. Uh, no bombs remaining, which is kind of unfortunate because we could use this Hematomesis pill, but we could always use the Hematomesis pill on our next floor as well. So I'm I'm leaning towards mostly trying to make the okay that's fine mostly trying to make the Ludovico technique uh, work, but when we use a box of friends that may change a little bit. Box of friends doubling our uh, incubuddies buddies and every other buddy might help out. We have a teleport card or hematomesis. I think we're gonna stick with our teleport card. So this like the beauty of this is that by just kind of like rocking back and forth on the the shooting axis here. Oh right, that's creep, not just uh, random flavor on the ground. Um, we can still get shots in. It's not going to be as effective for our Incubus, but it's going to be roughly as effective for Ludo, so basically it's just the added benefit of the Incubuddies there. We did get a deal with the Devil as well, Cuba Meat. And it's a Krampus fight, life goes on. Right. That attack. So this is going to be like really hard on my hand. <laughs> this is like a repetitive stress injury waiting to happen, I think, but uh... Maybe a lump of coal would be nice. Lump of coal, okay, that's not a lump of coal, but again, can't sweat it too much. 30 seconds shy of being able to get into boss rush, uh, on, on the split at least. That's not too bad. Curse of the Unknown scares the shit out of me, by the way. Uh, and I think it should. I think it should scare the shit out of you, too. Because I have no idea what our HP looks like right now. It could be horrible. That is very helpful. We know we only have one hard container. So, uh, that's, that's the scary part, is because if I run out of spirit hearts, all of a sudden, I've got nothing backing me up. There we go. Ludo should be able to finish the job before he has a chance to get too close to me again. More or less, that ended up being the case. Good stuff. Okay. Peep! Stand still as long as possible, please. I hate this. <laughs> I hate rocking back and forth to get the extra damage in, but it is the smart play. As long as we can keep, uh, Ludo... 100% of the time over the hitbox. I must have walked on the creep there. That's only a half uh, spirit heart loss, so it's not a huge problem. This is really going to slow down our ambitions for boss rush. But you know what? Boss rush is, is always secondary. As Lilith, I would put a little extra weight on it because it should be easier, but... That's okay. Boss rush doesn't have to be done for a run to be a, a success. Mom's Eye also told us exactly where to go here. Which is awesome. There is also an arcade, which, let's be honest, I probably wasn't going to use anyway because only, I only had one Red Heart container and Curse of the Unknown. Historically, not the best motivation for using a uh, using an arcade. So, I'm probably not going to do that. But now we definitely are not going to do that. Little Envy. Uh, not, not my favorite enemy either, as you can probably guess. And that's totally okay. What are we looking for from our shop here now that we got the cash for it? Absolutely uh, as much money as we have. If I could put that towards a, uh, a nun's habit, a nine volts, something like that, maybe both. Being able to use our uh, one fool, one magician. Uh, if we could uh, use Box of Friends more often, not even always on the same room, like using it twice on the same room would be great if we could swing it somehow, but I don't even know if there's any items that would. Like Sackboy might allow us to do that, but. It's only going to be really relevant for bosses, whereas uh, if we could use it on every room, basically we've doubled our strength. It's like a like a cheap magic mushroom or something. It's not really cheap, I guess. It's more expensive than magic mushroom by definition, but you get the idea. Probably worth box of friends here. Just trying. Uh, it's, it's hard to focus on so many things at once. Like, Ludo has now become, like, my sometimes tier. Like, if I hit someone with Ludo, I'm like, oh, sweet. It's like a familiar or something like that, uh, which is not the way it should be. Ludo should be our uh, our number one, you know, superstar here. We really need to get into this shop uh, and buy a spirit heart if possible. I'm not worried about a deal with the devil as much, but buying a spirit heart to keep ourselves alive might be relevant. 
Um, okay. Deck of cards. Temperance. We don't want to do this, obviously. That was a pretty much a complete bust. Way too slow for boss rush, too. Another fool card. Weird. Weird, but, but largely also completely okay. Okay, corn flies, no problem. Good. And, of course, we have to take Chaos. Which, I guess, gave us the bottle of pills. <laughs> Look, I don't know, man. Two of clubs. I paid five cents for one bomb. I know we could have used a bomb and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's okay. We're hoping to make Hematomesis work on the second secret room. Chaos will be interesting. Better chance to get guppy items anywhere. Worse chance to get them on a deal with the devil. How does that end up manifesting itself for us long term? This is a fantastic question. I got no idea what the answer to that one is. Please. Thank you. Um, I would love for this to be black hearts. Oh, oh, that's much better. Or eternal hearts. Red hearts, not at all what I'm interested in. Okay, well, if we're too slow for boss rush, which I've said 500 times, we'll get this key. We'll take our time here. Pop box of friends just because we can. Remember, we're going for the hush. We don't have to be so fast to beat the hush. Gotta be like before 28 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that. We got another deal with the devil as well. Dark matter. Good sh Good, uh, I was gonna say good shit, but it's a good item. Thank God that didn't kill us. Can we have a round of applause for RN Jesus, please? RN Jesus, keeping us from dying by picking up the guppy item. We had, I don't know how much HP we had. I need to see my HP at some point. Obviously, we have to. Okay, we still are alive. Um, we're one item away from becoming Guppy, which is why we're in this room to begin with. Full health. Okay, well, if we were down to... Well, we must have had two hearts, because we got a, a an Eternal Heart filled last time. Yeah, you did, boy. Get that Eternal Heart filled. I don't know where that was coming from. I apologize, though. So we're at full health. We don't need Hematomesis. Tears down is the worst, maybe objectively. Explosive diarrhea is pretty bad. This could kill us here. Balls of steel is great. Power pill, also pretty good. Tears down two hematomesis. Let's take hematomesis, get back to full HP, which we were already at. And we'll leave with hematomesis as well. So we're a full floor behind boss rush here. Dark matter was a great pickup. I'm super excited to have the opportunity to make this work. That was just terrible. But we've got Balls of Steel protecting us now. Surprisingly funny sentence to say. Pandora's Box on the Caves 2. Oh no, Dank Depths 1, so it's Spirit Hearts. That's well worth it, I think. Especially because we're, there's no chance in hell we're going to take it. So, take it long term, I should say. You know what? I think I'm going to try to swing Boss Rush. I know I said I wouldn't, but uh, we've gotten very lucky here with our placement of the boss room. So I think it's a much more sensible choice than you might originally be thinking if we can get a sweet item out of it. And we didn't even skip our item room. Yes, we did skip our shop, but uh, let's be real. That shop was probably pretty unlikely to manifest into something fantastic for us anyway, considering we have uh, three cents right now. No deal with the devil. We get scatter bombs and um, fantastic another uh, AAA battery, which we can't use, obviously. Check our curse room quickly. Apparently, I didn't need to worry about our HP at all. We were in a totally fine position. Oh! Okay, well, we got two black hearts. Get out of here, Incubus, who's the name of the lead singer. I, I can't seem to recall at this exact moment. This seemed to be well worth it. They're not red chests. Oh, but it's so tempting. I'll do it. Was it worth it? It wasn't not worth it. But I definitely want to finish this as quickly as is possible. Again, boss rush secondary to getting to the hush, but... Uh, the hush is easy, you know, easy to get to, difficult to kill sometimes. Although Ludo might be an awesome counter to the hush, to be honest with you. Because uh, it basically gives us infinite range, so we can just stand wherever the flip we please and uh, not run into any problems. It is so weird how my attitude changes as we get closer and closer to 20 minutes. Because I'm like, at 17 minutes, I was like, no problem, we can still do this. And then a minute later, I'm like, we're fucked. <laughs> There's no chance. Which is not totally true. 
but is likely true. Probably I, one of the things we should do here is try to, you know, facilitate as, as fast of a room clear as possible, which completely requires, uh, or it will be influenced by our uh, amount of familiars, so that's smart. If we choose the right direction right off the bat, we might have an outside chance of making this work. I wouldn't even say it's like a 10% chance, probably like a, you know, like a 25% chance of getting to boss rush and, and surviving. Oh, we gotta go back and check that. Uh, especially now that we know we've gone in the wrong direction. Okay, that's, uh, we should pick it up and put it down, even though it's gonna cost us another second or so. Wasn't this, no, Curse of the Maze? No, okay, I was like, wasn't that a, a card we needed? Magician. Ah, da, 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 da. We will not make it to boss rush. The first step is letting go, man. We've already been to our item room and it sucked though. So if we get a chance to just pick up a tarot card um, and have it be the Emperor, we will probably take it. I can't let go. We're definitely getting to the point where it's just not conceivable. Even if we made it in time now. The <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, even if we made it in time, uh, we probably would not be able to kill Mom in time. Although it would be, it would be close. I won't dispute it. It would be close. Now it's probably not close. Now it's probably guaranteed. Man, petrified poop. They just love it. All right, this is our actual 100% for real. I apologize for stretching it out for so long. Death knell. We will not be doing boss rush. So if you could bring out the, the horns here, we need to play taps. I kind of lost the plot there a little bit. I wonder if we can use one bomb and get multiple cluster bombs to hit the donation machine. We can indeed. Obviously we want the miter. Dun 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 dun. Is it worth checking, right? Just to see, yeah, if we get exactly what we did right there. Okay, with Boss Rush uh, kind of off our backs there, we can do whatever we want for the rest of this floor, which is still largely finish it as soon as possible so we've got a better chance of fighting um, Hush, getting to Hush. We should take the negative here, I think. I do think taking the negative is uh, it's a more fun decision. Bit of a rarer decision. Bit of a remix to Ignition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Uh, Mama rolling that body. Got every man in here wishing. Speed down. That's that's pretty bad. We're starting to hemorrhage HP a little bit. Partly, you know, a little bit of that is because I was going so fast trying to uh, trying to sort this run out. Still using Ludo primarily. Sometimes I forget about Ludo when I use my familiars almost exclusively. I guess we got Leech. We created our own Leech there. With KMB and Conception, which is nothing wrong with that. If we're not going to do Boss Rush, this is obviously a better option for us right here. Already almost halfway through the fight. Already 80% of the way through the fight. Things change quickly down here. The flow of time is distorted in Lordran. Took way too much dumb damage there. Alright, so we'll take the negative. And we're moving on, because I'm a sucker, like I said, fucked up in the head, not. And I'm... A little concerned about this. Can we get through this um, with while having enough HP to make good on our ability to, you know, kill Hush? I think the answer is probably yes, but might be a little bit up and more up in the air than I'd like to admit, to be honest with you. This has been a decent Lilith run. I'm not going to dispute that, but um, not every. Oh man, I, I guess I'm not mad at it's puberty, but. I'm mad that it's not something better than it was. World's greatest. Okay. Thank you, Fear Shot. Dark Matter saved us uh, big time there. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. My plan is largely just don't get hit. <laughs> I feel like if I can stick with that plan, we've got a really good chance of success. We'll throw a bomb down here. We'll open that red chest. I would love guppy items. Don't get me wrong. Still the, the number one thing we can hope for. But if it's just spirit hearts... I can live with it. Two spirit arts to me is, oh fuck, <laughs> half of a free ticket to our uh, to our curse room, which is something I'm very interested in going to. I, I hate these enemies so much now. 
There's a tinted rock as well. Thank you for popping up there. If you had not popped up there, I might not have even noticed that we would have had the small rock. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. 48 hour energy. That's a good card. Run. Uh, okay. Well, we'll try this. You look hard enough on the start of this room, you can pinpoint the exact moment I realize these enemies might be a little tankier than I originally uh, pegged them as. Yo. Stop moving. Somebody fucking go. Hmm. We haven't gained HP. That's for darn sure. Maybe a red chest in here? Not a red chest. This room is, is fairly evidently something we probably should not have even bothered going to, but... We got uh, a battery charge. Which actually, that seems to be happening so much that I'm like, maybe we should just use Box of Friends every time it's available. To which I'm sure there's a chorus of people in, like, chat going... Yeah, or going comments, I should say, going, uh, fucking obviously. But, um, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to get yourself to do that sometimes, because you're like, this room's easy enough, but oftentimes on those easy enough rooms, you end up taking damage. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm actually a little worried that we're even gonna make it fast enough, uh, to the haunt, or to the hush fight now. Now, that is a little bit less of my own skill determined. Um, that, that's more of like a, you know, a seed determined thing, is whether we're fast enough to get the hush. Most of the time, it's not even a problem, but, uh, on this run, we're just, we've slowed down quite a lot. I hope it's not like 28 minutes, because if it's 28 minutes, we're screwed. If it's 30 minutes, we could make it without, you know, too much, too much, uh, disaster being sowed. If we don't make it work on this one, that's okay. We'll try to do the dark room, and if we fail, we fail. If we succeed, even better. Weird run, like no HP ups at all, except for the first floor. Doesn't happen that often. Is that balls of steel? It's gotta be worth a try, at least. Explosive diarrhea. Not necessarily bad, but not likely to be great. Now's about the time we could like really use an emperor card. Yeah, should have used box of friends. Um, I think with 48 hour energy, by the way, is, well, if we make it to the hush fight, <sighs> If we make it to the hush fight, um, we'll want to use it there, I assume. And if we don't make it to the hush fight, uh, then we'll try to use it on Satan, probably, but I'm not feeling great <laughs> about our position right now. Taking a lot of damage. My own idiocy, but if I may offer something in my own defense, the speed down we got recently did not help us very much. Oh! Hope has been renewed. Golden hearts don't really give you HP, but the two spirit hearts sure do. All right, double Loki fight, not bad. And then give us a guppy item. Nine lives would be a perfect one for us right now. Do the back and forth, do the back and forth. Okay, there, got him. Stay still, stay still. And with this guy dead, we will now go into our deal with the devil, and I'll use a bomb to get around that HP upgrade because I don't want it right now. As not, these are not guppy items. We got freaking pyro pay to play, chaos, chaos. You fucked us. Well, we'll take our HP at least. I'm I'm beginning to think that we're not going to the hush fight on this one, so we'll try to swing it as fast as we can. And if we can get into our uh, our hush fight, great. If we can't, at least we're, we're doing something new with the dark room plays. Another spirit heart. Someone, you know, up there really likes us right now. Despite the fact that I got hit once there. Twice on this room now. Oh my god. These are now becoming my least favorite enemies in the game. Just the frequency with which they pop down and pop back up. Don't even get me started on this motherfucker right here. 
take a hundred years. Yeah, we'll work around your schedule. You seem real busy. I feel like our shot speed is also terrible. <laughs> like, Ludo does not go as fast as I need it to go. Fear Shot is doing a lot to, like, make that not look as bad as it might be. Oh, this is definitely a no-brainer on this room. Having two leeches is, like, really valuable. That's why I hope we can get, like, you know, five or six leeches uh, on our hush or maybe lamb fight, depending on how that looks. A little disappointed in this run, I have to admit. Life goes on, but... I wish it had gone a little differently here. Double key room. One spirit heart. Two spirit hearts. Uh, let's say a big thank you to the miter. Keeping us in it here. A golden bomb! Older than the Bible. Uh, this is also great, but probably unlikely to be too meaningful this late in the game. What is this, a uh, 404 on the ground? I don't take this trinket. Not yet. Not until I figure something out about it. Now, seeing this, I really can't believe that's not our secret room. Please tell me we're getting, like, somewhat close to our boss fight, because, um... Getting a little, a little anxious about the fact that we're at like 29 minutes. If it's 30 minutes, then we got a problem. Well, we're gonna we're about to find out one way or the other whether it's actually 30 minutes or uh, or more. Not like the movie, 30 minutes or less. Okay, we're gonna make it in 30 minutes, so we'll learn something about that. Let's check out this tarot card. Who knows, man? Wouldn't recommend what I did there. We got in and out though. Okay. This is gonna be if we gotta be fast. It would be awesome to be fast and also not take damage, but the be all end all is speed here. So I'm gonna be harping on this Ludo. We're gonna be taking it back and forth, trying to get as many incubus shots in as possible. Yo, like uh, Leech, you got a job here. Your job is to attack this enemy in the center of the screen. Maybe you've heard of them. Um, it's our own mother. I know it's pretty fucked up. Eggman McMillan's got some He's got some demons he's exercising right now No deal with the devil, but the hush fight is open for at least like another 10 seconds <laughs> Well, we have enough keys to try this now. I have to put myself back in my happy place because we um, Well blank card 48 hour energy unfortunately doesn't do anything, but uh, sack daggers pretty good We do have the opportunity to win here, and it's largely skill dependent, which scares the shit out of me. But um, it is it is indeed largely skill dependent. It's largely based on our ability to dodge. Man, a D6 would be awesome in here. But we'll probably take Sister Maggie, even though I think butt bombs are better. Sister Maggie allows us to um, double it over and over and over. So I think there's something to be said about that. Okay, let's take Placenta, and let's take this, and let's also buy the pills. And just use them and see what we get. We got explosive diarrhea. We don't want that, obviously. Uh, so now we want sack dagger. Blank card. Do we have a card in here? We don't have a card. Okay. So we want sack dagger. I think Sister Maggie might be more beneficial for us here. And then we probably want the HP. Because there's another blank card just out there if we decide we want it. but Which we won't. But uh, Okay. I think this is okay. And then we double immediately. And we pop this, and we double, pop this, and we double. Okay, now we got like a lot of good stuff going on here. Now I think it's it's doubtless that our Ludo option is worse than this wall of nonsense we have from our familiars. We also, and this might be like the unsung hero of the whole ordeal here. Where is my own tier? <laughs> oh, there it is, okay. Um, we also have... Um, Three sack or four sack daggers following us around, which honestly I'm looking at is like we should be using that to just chop this hush up. But um, hush is a little bit more damage resistant. But what I'm stoked about is the <laughs> didn't work out quite uh, as I meant it to right there. But I'm stoked about the idea that we might be able to do um, or to be basically have an impenetrable defense. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So try to get your familiars up here. It's hard. We gotta get them all in a line if it's at all possible. And then we're just moving the Ludovico tier back and forth so we can still get our familiars to shoot in there. And, um, you know, it's, it, Blue Baby, get in there, man. 
There we go. I needed Blue Baby to aggro. Now our damage should kick it up into the next gear as well. We got like four leeches going to town there. Man, those flies are annoying. Uh, I think we got to aggro um, Meat Boy again if we can. We got to get so close <laughs> to, to make that work. Oh, man. We got hit a couple times there. Okay, again. You know what? Maybe just let Meat Boy and Leech do their thing. We'll just focus on the dodges. Beating Hush with Lilith is something that has to be done. Okay, so whenever that fly shot comes out, we're going to reposition ourselves. We're going to try to get all our familiars lined up here. So we got to, like, drag ourselves a little bit above where I'd like to be. This is going to be a little bit trickier, but I think if we just shoot better, we might be okay. Oh, I see my tear again. There we go. Me boy's still doing work. This should be fine. What we should be worrying about is uh, continuum tears. Stand still and you can't get hurt. Meat Boy. I like how they're standing in like such an ordered line here, but... This is good. This is good. Surprisingly easy so far. Or maybe unsurprisingly easy, easy, depending on your perspective. A lot of shots on the screen. Like half of those are my own, though. Okay, again. Try to get your... Familiars lined up appropriately. That was terrible damage on my part. Should never have been hit there. And Hush is he's moving backwards, man. Okay. I have lost runs like this before. What's our respawn item? Oh, it's Guppy's Collar. So it's, it's not a particularly great choice for us. If we can avoid it, we should probably endeavor to do so. Now, we do have Cluster Bombs. Those are a thing that exists for us. I'd rather not have to use them. We also, like, Leech is healing us like crazy. This is bad. We will get hits, probably. And that's okay. Because I'm relying on Leech to give us some HP back. And Leech is not fully letting us down. Although it hasn't healed us yet. And I now find myself being a little frightened. But still hopeful. Leech, work with me here. One more beam attack could kill us if it comes out wrong. I know there's no enemies for you to draw from right now, but... Ah, oh, what? I mean, I saw the shot come in. I'm not really incredulous about the damage that we took there. I just wish we hadn't. Stand still. Ah, oh. oh, we did it. We did it. Okay. A little scary. We made it work. We got Incubus. Never heard of it. Never referenced it on a daily basis. Okay, we're still going to the dark room, so we're going down, down, down. Do not go up here. You have the opportunity to. If we can beat Shoal, that's great. If we can beat Shoal in the dark room, even better. Now we've at least, we've had success on this run. You gotta speak for everybody on the planet Earth when I say fuck that room. Now, you might be saying, this run's got no chance, NL. But the truth is, you're a 100% right. Uh, no, the truth is, I think this run's got every chance of success. Why do I say that? G-U-P-P-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you guppy. We still got a chance of becoming guppy. This is a very roundabout way of saying that. Um, we'll save some bombs here just in case. But um, yeah, we, uh, we still could become guppy on the dark room. It's happens... Oh, two or three times. So the precedent is just uh, outlandish. It exists. Sort of. We will take a key. Work our way down here. Great stuff. I would do this room every single time if you gave me the opportunity to do so. I would relish the opportunity. Lucky dodges. You know, I'll call out a good dodge when I see it. That was a lucky dodge. And I can, I can live with that, you know? We have unlucky dodges all the time as well. Easy room that I took damage on. That was a bad dodge. Not afraid to say that either. Just, just stand still. These guys are firing scared. They don't know what they're shooting at. Oh, where am I? Where am I? I'm fucking dead. All we gotta do is uh, take out these jokers. 
We're Gucci. Tears down. That's a good one. Um, Steam sale. Another all-time classic. Very useful for us right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know there's uh, black hearts and good tarot cards in here somewhere. Will we get a charge on this fight? Like, when we beat the Fallen, will it give us two, uh... Will it give us two charges, which will effectively allow us to use our item once? I certainly hope so. Ah, shit. Yep, that, uh, saw that one coming a mile away. No, we did not gain a charge there. So we could pretty reasonably die right here. Yeah, this is not looking fantastic. Or is it? <laughs> I've been on the fence a little bit here, but in my defense, uh -huh, uh, it looks shitty and now it's going relatively well. Oh, now it's not. But we got a Spirit Heart back from Scapular, so we win. Lucky us. Oh, we've unlocked the Serpent's Kiss. That's what a snake sounds like when it's kissing you on the lips. All right. Nine lives. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 um. Fate seems like basically we break even by taking it. You know what? Book of Revelations, we break even by taking it as well. I, I will take the foot. Why am I taking the foot? Because I'm stupid, but actually because if it raises our chances of getting chests on the dark room, every single, it only takes one HP upgrade in a chest uh, to to be good for us. And if we get something that's better than one HP upgrade in the chest, then it, it pays for itself much faster. So maybe it's worth it, I don't know, like one luck upgrade for one of our very few HP might be a horrible trade. But it's a trade that I've I've gone with here. I'm not gonna stand by it if we get fucked, but... For now, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not too despondent. It's basically quadruple fall in here. This is not an easy fight for us right now. Ah, uh, tough dodge. Tough dodge. Good. Good. Somehow, we live. This is Guppy's uh, collar's time to shine. Oh, okay. We're probably fucked. But we did do some good stuff. Does it always have to be Gertie Jr.? Seems like it's always Gertie Jr. when push comes to shove, man. But hey, we lived. Every breath you take. Hey! Every move you make, I'll be there for you, cause I'm Gertie Jr. Gonna make your life hurts. Okay, this is Spirit Heart, Spirit Heart. No Spirit Heart, but we've set up an awesome defense for that bomb fly that was coming to get ya. Foxy lady. We got a Spirit Heart. Uh, apparently we got hit there. Probably what I'm guessing happened is Little Horn hit us with, uh... With his tier that I probably I thought was just our own Ludovico tier, even though that makes no sense, you know, when you think about it. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is not bad. This is, oh, this is getting a little bad. But you know, they die pretty quickly once you got the once you got the tier on top of them. So this is okay. Big question: Can we actually beat the lamb on one to two HP? That's a fantastic question. Uh, then I would love to answer that, but you know what? We'll just let it answer itself. Yeah, you're taking too long to die. I'm sorry to inform you that your existence has made me displeased. Where are all the chests that um, I was promised when I picked up the luck foot? I was promised chests, multiple of them, more than one, with an HP upgrade contained inside. And this has not come to fruition yet. Is the remix to fruition hot and fresh out the kitchen? Mama rolling that ninth grade vocabulary. Quite bitchin'. <laughs> well, that didn't really work, but I'm proud of it nonetheless. Help. I'm not using um, our box of friends because I have a feeling we're, we're due for this lamb fight relatively soon. And this is where you start thinking, oh god, if I'd just taken a little bit of extra caution on earlier floors, we might have not found ourselves in what is a very, very 
scary position right now. That's what we're looking for. But, you know, we can't turn back time. It's always Gertie Jr., man. So we're going to have 2 HP. And fucking number 2? Number 2, are you kidding me? Who do you think you are? I am. Oh, okay. Second secret room, black hearts. Black hearts. Oh, swallow Benny. Ugh. Okay. Well, we'll take number 2, because fuck it. Good, good. Blanket the sky. With the tears of your resistance. I got hit by number one. Number two, I should say. It's pretty much right in the name there, isn't it? Um, if, he drop, if I drop a number two bomb right now, I just will die. And can't do anything about it, which is disappointing. Yep, there's number two. Who does number two work for? Oh, you're going to let me do it again. Oh, aren't I lucky? Okay. Watch out for your own bombs. I can't watch out for my own bombs. This is the only place I've ever been safe. That one shot lingered far too long like a song by the Cranberries. I'll get, get that psychological... Uh, potpourri out of here, please. Don't rush me down. I'm the number one menace for miles around. Ah, I'm not fast enough. You're going to let me do it again. Oh, well, here we go. What a great day to be um, me here. We still got a chance. I mean, I'm, I'm not being too bent out of shape because even though this is like, represents like a lot of lost progress, if we die... I'm not too sad to be able to play Lilith and, and fight the lamb again. That was a fun run regardless. That's one of those ones where if we'd not fought the hush, we would have beat the lamb and vice versa. So I'm glad we got the hush stuff unlocked. I consider this a win even though we lost. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.